Yes. Uh, so, so for medical science optional, uh, there were uh, two aspects. One is uh, your preparation part and the other is the answer writing part. So uh, for the preparation part, uh, again, uh, for uh, I think majority of the students, the case is that uh, most of us are comfortable with GS paper two, uh, the, sorry, the paper two of optional because we have recently read it. Yes. And also it is more interesting because it is more application based and uh, paper one is a lot factual. So uh, that is where the major challenge comes. Uh, so if I divide it into paper one and paper two, for paper one, uh, mostly I think anatomy was my weakest area. And uh, the second was biochemistry. I did not uh, read enough uh, for those two subjects. I would like to admit that. And uh, I was actually very scared also for the actual exam, thinking that probably I might lose a mark here and there in these questions. Uh, but uh, thankfully that I was able to attempt some of it. Uh, for paper one, I think what you need to do is refer to your standard sources that you used in your uh, college. Uh, you can use the same books. Uh, what I did, uh, some people just tear off the pages from the book and compile it separately. But I do not like tearing off the pages from those books. So what I did was I scanned it and uh, made a PDF and took a printout of those topics. And that is how I use them. Uh, for some of the subjects, I did refer to the uh, UPSC Medico material. For example, uh, for microbiology, I did refer to the material that was provided. Uh, for pathology also, I used the material. Uh, and some topics of, of pharmacology as well. So these were the three areas that I used the material from UPSC Medico. And the uh, rest of it, I referred from the books that I had used during college. Yes. Uh, for paper two, uh, I think for uh, dermatology and psychiatry, because uh, I could not find a very standard source for that. So I referred to the UPSC Medico material. And uh, for other subjects, uh, I mostly uh, relied on the sources that I had used during the college. So I referred to the same books again. And uh, I did not make any notes out of it, only in some topics, uh, I think in physiology that I made notes. Uh, but there were very few topics. So um, in my opinion, I think uh, for any student, uh, whatever subject or topic that they find difficult, uh, that topic they can make their own notes in their own language. Uh, otherwise, uh, there is no need to make specific notes. What you can do is either tear off the pages and keep them separately or uh, what, like what I did, you can scan and take a picture and keep a print out of that yes. because it comes very handy uh, to revise, especially I think what uh, really worked for, for me was the revision between paper one and paper two, uh, the gap that we have of the two hour period. So in that two hour period, I actually quickly glanced through everything uh, just in case that I do not miss some keyword or some medicine, because again, there is a lot of factual information. So I thought that probably this is the last time that I have to read it and I should just give my best and uh, yes. again, put in two hours of that effort. So uh, that is also uh, one thing that people can do uh, with regard to answer writing in medical science optional, uh, because we do not have a lot of uh, coaching that is available compared to other optional subjects. So uh, that answer writing practice is generally missing in medical science uh, optional student. What I did was that uh, from 2015 uh, onwards, I started writing the past year paper answers. Uh, this is what I did for paper two. Uh, for paper one, I could not do it for all the subjects. I tried to do it for a few, but it was not possible because there was less time. Uh, and all of this I did before prelims, uh, not after prelims. So before prelims, uh, for paper two, I wrote the answers to all of the questions. The advantage uh, was that uh, some of the questions, at least the themes are repeated, if not verbatim the questions, exactly. but the themes are definitely repeated. So you have a ready-made answer uh, and in the actual exam, you do not have to think about it. So this is one advantage. And uh, the second thing is that if you are writing the same thing again and again, especially like for pediatrics, we see that a lot of questions are repeated. So mm -hmm. when I started writing from 15, by the time I came to 20, I had already memorized it because I was writing it so many times. And yeah. also my writing speed increased because of writing it. So these are the two helps that you get. Uh, one very important thing, even if you are not joining a test series for medical science optional, uh, what is important is that you at least write one or two full length papers before you go for the actual exam. And one advice that I would give is when you are uh, writing that paper, so download the sheet also in such a manner that there are certain blank uh, spaces, like you have that 50, 58 uh, page sheet. Because in the exam, those turning the pages, selecting the questions and all of that also takes some amount of time. We do not realize it, but subconsciously it does waste some time. So be very mindful that when you are practicing also, practice in a similar kind of environment or atmosphere, having the similar kind of sheet, at least for one to two tests before you go. Uh, because uh, I had joined the UPSC Medico test series also, but as I mentioned earlier, I was actually running short of time. 
so i did not have enough time to write uh, all the test i think i wrote four to five sectional what test uh, that was possible yes. and yes and i could not write a full length paper as well uh, but i had before prelims i had practiced at least two full length papers of uh, the past year papers so i had that confidence that i'll be able to manage with the time uh, with regard to upsc medico i think uh, i did not follow i did join the uh, uh, foundation yes. course also yes. yes but i could not follow that uh, for all the subjects because i thought that it would be better if i revise from my own books uh, as i mentioned some topics i did refer to uh for the test series again i was running short of time but the four papers uh, that i uh, referred to i think it was helpful in the sense that uh, uh for me it was a confidence booster actually that i have gotten it corrected by a doctor so now i know that i am writing answers in a right direction yes. because uh, sometimes what happens is that uh, we do not know if we are actually writing the right keywords and uh, i remember a few feedbacks that i got that some keywords that were missing so in those four papers uh, that the knowledge that i gained from those four papers i tried to apply it for other papers also that i did not write that uh, probably i'm supposed to write a keyword uh, this is how i have to write the mechanism of action or maybe i have to make a diagram or something like that so those were the kind of information that i was able to extract uh, while i was writing that test yes so what is the right time for a doctor to like if he wants to get into upsc what do you think because you have started your preparation from internship but in 2019 yes so uh, is it late or what do you think about medical science option what is what should because you have started after internship and even uh, dr anshu priya did the same and uh, the last year dr pc jo also did the same you 16 19 20 right mm -hmm. so you were doing your internship you were doing your mbbs you were enjoying your theory and you were starting in the internship uh, what was the thing that changed you like why you were attracted to upsc because that is the time we look for medical pc and people around us all the doctors around us are busy joining major coaching institutes to crack oh, something good yeah. of it right so what was that catalyst yeah. for you when i came to internship uh, that is when as i said that uh, you know i worked in a government setup and i realized that there are a lot of challenges uh, in the delivery of healthcare and uh, since administration was somewhere in my mind earlier as well but uh, there was no complete motivation and when i saw this i thought that uh, probably i will be able to better contribute uh, by the means of administration if i were given a chance so that is when i started preparing uh with respect to the right time uh, i cannot say precisely what exactly will be a right time for any person it will depend on once you are motivated enough uh but uh, what is important is once you decide to prepare uh, be also mentally prepared that uh, you know this exam might take 2 to 3 years uh, sometimes even longer for people so uh, and in the meanwhile you will see uh, especially for doctors that your friends will finish their post graduation yes, they will uh, for me like a lot of my friends now they are posted as senior residents and thankfully that i was also able to clear with them otherwise uh, uh, imagining the fact that i'll have to start from scratch uh, was uh, really scary at one point of time mm -hmm. so if somebody thinks of uh, uh preparing for upsc in their college days uh, what i would advise is uh, if even if you are not able to read the gs syllabus because uh, we are aware that medical studies itself is very rigorous what you can do is download the uh, syllabus for upsc and at least prepare notes for the medical science optional or at least uh, read those topics more carefully and uh, so that uh, your optional is prepared by the time uh, you actually write the exam even if you are uh, preparing uh, but from your internship or even after that i think it is good enough but what is important is to be mentally prepared and understand that uh, you are making a conscious choice now and uh, you have decided to take a different path and it will take some time so i think this thought will be more helpful uh, for the students mm -hmm. yes paper yes. two of optional i'm still not able to exactly understand where did i go wrong because uh, i have always thought that that was my strength so uh, that i will have to sit back and actually think of uh, what exactly went wrong there maybe you are going hard with paper one because like paper two you are pretty confident but again yes, you don't uh, practice much right and this time yes, that, uh, uh, this time what is your opinion on uh, 2021 upsc medical science optional paper how was it uh so i think uh, there were a few unconventional questions it is not only in 2021 uh, but also in 2020 that we saw that uh, at least in the compulsory section there were there was uh, one question uh, which was a little unconventional from what they have been following earlier like earlier they would give you uh, that difficult question in the choice question, question. so you could leave it if you do not know 
but now for example this time we had a question on us in paper 2 we had a question on colloid cyst uh, that was in the compulsory section or for example coronary sinus that was again in the compulsory section so uh, if you haven't read it you it actually cost you 10 marks uh for me i think uh, one advice that i would like to give here is uh, probably do not leave the question uh, because as medicos again have that confidence that we have read something or the other about it uh, like i remember the question intercostal space uh, in paper 1 i did not precisely know the anatomy and all of that but uh, what i did was rather than leaving the question i wrote something about the clinical anatomy aspect uh, that how you know intercostal tube is inserted yes. so uh, rather than getting a zero in that question i think uh, even if the examiner will give you two or three mark uh, maybe uh, just a half one mark whatever but it will be still a bonus so and since there is no negative marking so there is no harm in writing and uh, so for all the medicos i think this would be a basic advice uh that please do not leave a question in the exam uh, you have read it for 5 years and have that confidence that you can write the answer they they made this major change the reason being the so many doctors now for giving this exam and if you want to cut out competition like what they did for csat they are doing it for paper 1 paper 2 question 1 and 4 5 1 and 5 they're tweaking it so again this is what we tell even for medical pg aspirants rare is always a rare if you are thorough with the common questions the 10 mark is never a deciding factor like one or two if you can integrate and write that will definitely put you in a higher position but again i think 90% of the questions are repeats like what we analyzed yes, maybe the topics are repeated not the line or the uh, essence of the question is same and uh, very importantly for doctors doctors basics basics will work you don't need to be a gold medalist or you don't need to be uh, working on all the standard textbooks in the world to go out there and write because most of the questions are repeat most of the questions are previous year centric uh, so so i think uh, for all the upcoming aspirants uh, there are few things that i would want to say one is that uh, limit your resources and uh, revise those resources multiple times do not run after uh, a lot of material or become a material collector in the process that we see second is uh, have a very uh, dedicated or a focused approach towards the exam it shouldn't be the case that you are studying for one day and then taking a break for two days so every day if you are putting in those 5 uh, to 6 hours 7 to 8 hours of dedicated study uh, for one year uh, it will be very very helpful uh third thing what i want to say is again uh, that uh, you do not have to only work hard but you have to work smart uh for example analyzing your papers choosing the right resources or the right kind of guidance so be very mindful of uh, those things as well and uh, the last thing uh, that i would say and i've said it at a lot of places uh that uh, delay does not mean denial and if uh, probably that you have failed in one of your attempts and you are not able to succeed uh, despite your efforts please have that uh, confidence that belief in yourself uh, even if there is nobody who is guiding you uh, believe in that force uh, that is with you because you have worked hard and uh, that probably one day you will be able to achieve your target so if with that persistence you are able to uh, work hard uh, i'm sure that whatever goal uh, you have set for yourself you will be able to achieve that Jeeva. very happy for you diksha i'm very happy you. for you, you so on much. the other side of the line i was just going through your chat session that you are so like in the last few days it was tough for me also like almost 300 people uh, yes sir definitely submitting papers in that narrow zone right so, yes sir like whatever role i played in your preparation i feel proud because this is yes, my sir. job this is my job and it is my dream to see doctors in the highest position i know right personally yes, when i was working in a phs setup and all how doctors are getting yes, sir, by the patients and all so with whatever knowledge wisdom we have i think we are the right candidates in the highest civilian position yes, so all the in best fact, for your uh, yes sir thank Good. you in fact i think that time there was a lot of pressure on me also because i thought ki the prelims finally that because i said csat mein i had an issue yes. so i had this thing in mind that i don't have to let go of this opportunity and i have to clear it this year somehow because i was so scared of writing another prelims because <laughs> i thought that it's better that i work hard right now that is i was constantly messaging also you know that please that do it work. that attitude work right you have to yes, uh, you have to make the things happen so that's what you yes, did sir. in the shortest span of time you had you could able to win it by being smart and uh, very happy. 
So all the best for your future. Go and serve the nation. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Yes.